I grew up in church. People don't really know that. And it's so funny because I'll go places with him and, and they're trying to explain church to me. You know, like, oh, you know, you have to sit here when they stand. Just stand when they stand. And if you don't know the words, they'll be on the screen to the left. <laughs> well, now, the more you want to try to convince us that you're first lady material, the more we are clapping back directly to you since you want to keep bringing it up. <laughs> and we're saying, not so fast, Sister Lady Shani. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And because Sister Shani won't stop talking about her church credentials, I'm coming back to you today yet again to talk about this outcry statement that she is making wherein she wants us to believe that just because she grew up in the church, that is supposed to mean something to church folk who know when they see a person who don't know nothing about church. <laughs> and she really is feeling some kind of way about it because she just won't leave it alone. But I'm going to break down this outcry declaration she keeps making and show you why as the wife and self-named so-called first lady of the Lighthouse Church, why she needs to stop saying this. And the first thing I like to say to Sister Shawnee is, this really is not a good look. It seems very ugly and combative. And so in response to your declaration that you grew up in the church, I would just simply advise you to grow the hell up. <laughs> That's right. If you grew up in the church, then grow the hell up and stop acting like a little girl, Sister Shawnee. Because if you really are the first lady, you don't have to keep telling people that you are the first lady. They will know it when they see you. But the truth is that people just don't see it. <laughs> oh, but anyway, y'all, let me stay focused. Because you remember that Lady Shawnee started this sassy talk when she was on the Sherry Shepherd show. And she clearly told Sherry Shepherd to ask her about this during the interview so that she could get this silly message out because it really bothers her that people ain't buying it. So let's go back and take another look at that. Shawnee, <laughs> I am cracking up at you. I love it because now most people know you from Basketball yes. Wives. They know yeah. you from Basketball Wives. Yeah. But and I didn't know that you actually grew up in the church. Yeah. My mother was a church pianist. My brother was a drummer. I was a church secretary when I was 18 or 19. Um, so I, I know this, but it, it, I know church. And yeah. I'm, this is not a foreign place for me as much as people think it is. Um, right. So, yeah, it, it's very interesting because I get people that think they're explaining church to me now. <laughs> but did you get that, Shawnee? Because you married a pastor, and he has, and you have a church. You're, you're pastor of Lighthouse Church in is it Humble, Texas. And so, do you get people who from the church going, okay, is this the way the, All the, the church runs? All the time. All the time. And I and I just go with it, you know, because yeah. I don't want to be like, girl, I know. But I was just like, girl, oh, thank you, thank you for letting me know. And they're like, oh, you're supposed to go this way. Don't walk doing this. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, our, our inside joke is I'm a heathen. I'm like, you know they think I'm a heathen. <laughs> I, I tell all the time, I mean, the people who telling her what to do in church, they don't know either. <laughs> we all learn it. We all learn it. That's the thing. We're on that path to learn it. I mean, when you have Sherry Shepard using the exact wording that Lady Shawnee is using in her talking points, you know that this is a part of Shawnee's campaign, not a natural part of the questions that Sister Shepherd planned to ask her. I mean, you have Sister Sherry saying in her question, quote, most people know you from Basketball Wives, but I didn't know that you actually grew up in the church, end quote. <laughs> I mean, we know this is a setup. So I wanna also caution you, Lady Sister Shani, to not insult the intelligence of church folks. We ain't stupid, baby girl. <laughs> Lady Shawnee needs to understand who her audience is. I mean, the real church folk in that church, you know, the ones who really pay the tithes and offerings in there that 
pays her husband's salary, they're not necessarily appreciating the tone and perspective in which Lady Shani is communicating because she's really laughing at them and using audiences to make fun of them. Now, we conducted a poll on this channel on this topic back in November, and the results of the poll reveal that as of November, 87% of you believed no, Shani is not ready to be the first lady of Lighthouse Church. And only 13% of you thought that yes, she is ready to be the first lady of Lighthouse Church. I mean, people even left comments such as, quote, hell no, it's laughable, <laughs> end quote. And another one of my guests said, quote, simply put, nah, she's not first or second lady material. <laughs> These people better stop playing with God and the church, end quote. But I'm going to give you, Miss Lady Sister Shawnee, the benefit of the doubt and hear you out. And so let's listen to Sister Shawnee's full statement to the church folk. I grew up in church. People don't really know that. And it's so funny because I'll go places with him and, and they're trying to explain church to me, you know, like, oh, you know, you have to sit here when they stand, just stand when they stand. And if you don't know the words, they'll be on the screen to the left. Um, and I just roll with it. I'll be like, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So now I go in places and be like, the heathen is here. How we doing this? How we doing? What we singing today? I learned three songs last week, y'all. What we singing? I know my hymns. Hymn challenge all day. I know my hymns. <laughs> okay, so now, Sister Shani, there is a clear difference in saying that you grew up in the church and just clearly communicating that you are a Christian and you love Jesus Christ. We never hear you say anything about Jesus Christ. I mean, if I were you, I, I would start there. And I love the way that Pastor Keon just sits there <laughs> while she's doing the most. And he does not say one word <laughs> because he knows she done lost her damn mind. <laughs> And you'll never be able to stop church folks, I mean real Christians, from seeing what they see, Lady Shani. We know a person who is coming to praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, indeed, baby girl, we know what that looks like. I mean, when you really come in to do the Lord's work, you ain't prancing in the church with your Fendi outfits and your Fendi bags. Real Christians coming to do battle with the devil. You're going to see some sign like a tambourine, like maybe a prayer cloth. <laughs> and we scoping it out and we looking to see if you are a real Christian. And real Christians know a real Christian when we see one. I just think that maybe you might come in in the clear spirit of consecration in your own right. Not needing your pastor husband to say a cute little prayer wherein you merely join in. <laughs> and so don't be upset with the people. They are just treating you how you act. And you act like you're visiting the church every time you walk in. I mean, I don't care how many hymns you think you know. The question is, do you know Jesus? <laughs> do you use your platform to talk about Jesus Christ or are you always on social media talking about all manner of all kinds of other foolery? I mean, instead of her say, what about Jesus say? <laughs> but as y'all know on here, I just ask and report and I let the saints decide. So what do you think after the hundredth time that Sister Shani wants to tell us that she grew up in the church. Does growing up in the church mean you are a Christian who has gone through enough trials and tribulations to know Jesus Christ well enough to be first lady material? And as such, you do not believe Lady Shawnee is first lady material? Or can anybody just hop into bed with and get married to the pastor and claim they are the first lady of the church and you believe as such that Lady Shawnee is first lady material. Please 
let me know by leaving your comments in the comment section below. And I hope you'll also give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you'll also consider donating to this video and my entire channel by clicking the super thanks heart button below. And I wanna also ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I come back with more hot tea on this reality show, Church House, Hot Mess Drama. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.